right-handers starting to loosen up. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Comes set with the 0 and 1. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0 and 2. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he fights him off here to foul this one over toward the right side, and it'll remain 0 and 2. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. Ready with another 0 2. That Whoa. fastball straightens him up a bit. 1 and 2 now. This is a big spot right here. Two runners on. You got a 0 2 count. You waste one. Now you make it work. Throw one in the dirt. Throw one high. Make him chase it. And you got a chance to strand those runners on base. None out. Runners at first and second. This is line to left. That's in there. Base hit. Well, that's a big hit right there. You might be wondering why they hold the runner up. Now that's you have bases base loaded. Anytime you have no right outs, in. you don't want to force that guy to be thrown out. Now you put the pressure on the defense with the bases loaded. Well, now the Miami manager's up out of the dugout and on his way out to the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he won't be able to win this one and barring a miracle by the pen would stand be on the hook for the loss should a run score here. Your David Phelps play. is summoned now in the toughest situation the a reliever can Number face. Bases loaded. David nobody out. Phelps. Here's Brandon Phillips. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here's the 0 1 pitch. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. Runners will stay put. However, the count evens at one. Oh. Outside, two and one. Well, two when the one. pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Squared that one up just a little late. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. And a slider is way low, but a good job there to knock this one down. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And he got him. So a big out there is now a ground ball could even get him out of this thing still tied. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch, and even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Adonis Garcia is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. His past batting line against David Phelps, one for three. Ready with the 0-1. And this is fouled at the plate. Bases are loaded with only one out.
Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Stanton is going to get there, and that's the second out of the inning. And there will be no attempt to score here as the bases stay loaded with two gone now. Now batting, Patrick, Tyler, Flowers. Digging in and looking for more, Tyler Flowers. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Here comes the first pitch. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. From the belt, the pitch. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Man, we're seeing some pitching right now. He's one out away from getting out of the woods in this nasty situation. Base is loaded, no outs. He gets the first two guys out, and he's this close. Let's see what happens with this batter, if he can get out of it. Now the 0-2 pitch and a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike and the inning is over. Braves will strand three. Still tied one apiece. Back here at SunTrust Park all square at one as we get set to start the seventh but before we do let's take a look at the game summary to this point. Ready for another chance. Justin Bohr has been a strikeout victim twice There's in this Bacon. one. Justin Bohr. And so now the Braves will get both a left hander and a right hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Yeah. They set the target in and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Well that's another first pitch strike right there. Now he's over 70 percent so far in this game. First pitch strike the hitters. That's why he's deep in the game right now. The wind up and the 0 1. Ball chop foul here at the plate and he's behind nothing and two. Well he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. Not surprised. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching. Kind of keeping him off balance. Now a pitch runs in on him here and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. Well he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. It's the second one he's seen in a row now and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third one. Three in a row. And they'll try to tempt oh. him with a curveball but this bounces in front of the plate and it's one, one and two. two Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here though. Trying to strike him out for the third time. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. One and two, here it comes. And another foul ball. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. He's just fouling them off to get something he wants to hit. Now another one-two. That two misses, ball. and we're two even strike. at two and two. Well, now they wait to work the count. This is a long A-B, but if they wanted to have any shot at him, you need to have these kind of at-bats early in the game. Set to deal on two and two. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. In now, JT Real Muto. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. 
ball. And he missed with it. It's one, one and two. two. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there. You're down 0-2. You're in protect mode. You want to chase that ball. Nice layoff. One out, nobody on. One two pitch is a slider that misses two and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats and all in all he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. He's ready with the two two pitch. And he'll stay alive here but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate and the count holds it two and two. Ready with another two two. Just stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The 2 2 one more time. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, he's digging for second. And he is in the second base with one away as the go ahead run. I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. Here's Marcelo Zuna as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. No hits to this point. Here comes the 0 1. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. Four, and, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Well, when you've been out there as long as he has, you have to expect to lose a little precision in your location. He's up over 90 pitches now, so he might be starting to tire a little bit. Something to keep an eye on. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Blaine Boyer will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Kurt Suzuki is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Kurt Suzuki. Here's Echeverria now. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. That's no. over, but low. It's a ball and a one strike. Ball, one strike. Runners are at first and second with one away. In the dirt here. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. He's set, and the two-one pitch. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so 